if there is, um, first of all, we want to find out will there be talks. Uh, then after the talks have been held, in case these talks will lead to a new agreement or a new treaty. Then before the new treaty uh, is ratified by the Senate, perhaps it would be good uh, to ask the people themselves what they think of the new treaty. Uh, and then, of course, uh, it will be up to the senators um, to go by the, the sentiments of the people or since this will not be a binding thing because our constitution only talks of a referendum after uh, the treaty has been ratified. In other words, if no treaty has been ratified, then they will no longer, the matter will no longer be brought before the people. But I was thinking perhaps uh, in between, you know, right after uh, the, there is a new treaty, if indeed there will be a new treaty, but before the, uh, it goes to the Senate for either ratification mm -hmm. or non-ratification. No, I understand the sensitivity of the timing. My hypothetical question is, if that timing were now, and I know it's hypothetical, and the question was asked of the people of the Philippines, mm -hmm. what do you think their response would be at this point? Well, you know, uh, at this point, um, I doubt very much if there has been a strong information campaign to make every Filipino citizen aware of what the bases are all about. It would not be practical and it would not be fair to be asking them exactly uh, what their position on the basis is, lacking uh, an information campaign. They have to be properly informed on what uh, the basis uh, will mean or the continued use of the basis will mean. So I don't think this is uh, the right time to ask them. Thank you. Ma'am Palo, a question to sa katanungan ni Tita Valderrama. Sa kabila daw po ng kampanya ng ating gobyerno, laban sa drug addiction, ay tila lalo daw po yatong lumalala. At ito daw po nga si Jose Oison, nakilalang uh, isa sa mastermind ng uh, drug syndicate sa bansa ay uh, tila meron daw atang relasyon sa militar kung kaya't hindi ito maaresto. Sa kabila po ng maraming ebidensya laban sa kanya. Gusto ko nga malaman kung talagang may ebidensya sa kanya dahil kung may ebidensya, di talagang uh, gagawin natin ang, ang, ang lahat upang uh, mag-file nga ng charges against him. Pero kung walang ebidensya, eh, medyo mahirap. Ano? Dahil uh, under a democracy, uh, everyone is entitled to due process. Pero ako ay uh, nananawagan sa mama na yan kung meron nga silang ebidensya against anybody uh, in the matter of uh, using or uh, pushing illegal drugs. Uh, I wish they would, uh, they would help us because we need solid evidence in order to go against these people. U.S. Vice President Dan Quayle arrived yesterday night in Manila in what has been earlier billed as a familiarization tour of Asia. Vice President Quayle was met at the airport and accorded the appropriate welcome ceremonies. Vice President Quayle met with the Filipino business community in a breakfast conference at the Philippine Plaza. The U.S. Vice President informed his audience on international economic trends as they relate to the Philippines. Later, Vice President Quayle paid a courtesy call on President Aquino at Malacanang. The President and Vice President Quayle exchanged pleasantries and spoke on matters of mutual concern to the Philippines and the United States. Uh, President Aquino, I had a very good, positive, significant and substantive meeting. We began the meeting by both of us paying our condolences to the bereaved families that have suffered at the hands of terrorism once again. One Filipino security officer, two civilian Americans. And President Aquino and I agreed that these killings unfortunately were timed to my visit. But we also agreed that this would not drive a wedge between our two countries, that our two countries have a very special relationship and will continue to have a special relationship. And though the killings may have been timed on my visit and to try to create problems for our two countries, both of us rejected that and we continue to reject the idea of terrorism sponsored by the NPA. Secondly, I delivered to President Aquino a letter from President Bush uh, asking President Aquino to 
commence discussions concerning the U.S. facilities here in the Philippines. The letter from President Bush was a formal request to the President of the Philippines to have these discussions begin, hopefully in December. These discussions hopefully will move forward and there will be a positive result that will show an, the continued special relationship that we have had. And I hope that the people of the Philippines understand and appreciate not only the special relationship, but the sense of stability that the facilities offer, stability in a political sense, stability in an economic sense, stability in the sense of hopefully seeing expanded economic opportunities and development for the people of the Philippines. Mr. Vice President, uh, President Aquino has proposed that a referendum be held before a treaty is ratified on the basis. How do you feel about this? She told me the possibility of having a, a referendum before the treaty would be uh, submitted to, to the Senate. That is a decision for Mrs. Aquino and President Aquino to make. Uh, I would not inject myself into what is an internal matter and an internal political decision that President Aquino will make. But we are hopeful that the people of the Philippines uh, appreciate the sense of stability that these facilities have provided and the sense of stability that can be provided in the future. We want stability. We want peace. We want jobs. We want economic prosperity. We want investment. And we want to see things move forward, and we hope that we can. Mr. Yes. Vice President, um, after your meeting with the President this morning, are you leaving the Philippines confident now more than ever that a new basis agreement will be reached? I am hopeful after the President has now made a formal request to the President of the Philippines, Mrs. Aquino, to be commence discussions, that these discussions will lead to a successful conclusion. We have a long way to go between now and when the formal treaty will expire in 1991. And it's important that we begin these discussions, and we begin these discussions in a serious, a deliberate, sophisticated manner. I would hope that on both sides that the shrillness of debate will decline. This is not a time for emotionalism. This is a time that we think with our heads. And we put our two heads together as two countries that have a special relationship, a strong relationship, and resolve this matter. So are you saying that you are more confident now? I was confident before, and I continue to be confident that we will be able to reach a mutually acceptable conclusion. Hi, get everyone this evening. Your award-winning news, sports, and entertainment connection. This is the Far East Network, Philippines.